सेकंड चैप्टर सेमीकंडक्टर फॉर्मेशन ऑफ एनर्जी बैंड्स दिस इज बेस्ड ऑन बैंड थ्री ऑफ द सॉलिड यू ऑलरेडी नो दैट सिंगल एटम इफ यू कंसीडर सिंगल एटम इलेक्ट्रॉन एनर्जीज आर क्वांटाइज इन इट इलेक्ट्रॉन एनर्जीज are quantized that is only discrete values of electron energies are allowed only discrete values of energies are allowed so that is the case of single atom single atom has energy levels 1s 2s 2p 3s etc now this 1s energy levels has two electrons it has two electrons one has spin up another has spin down 2s energy level this is 2s energy level 2s energy levels also has two electrons with opposite spin spin of one electron is plus half another one is minus half but in case of 2p energy level there are 2px 2py and 2pz sub energy levels and each one is having two electrons with the opposite spin so this px has two electrons with opposite spins py two electrons opposite spins pz two electrons of opposite spins then there is 3s energy level this 3s energy level has two electrons with opposite spin so this is the case of the single atom when the atom is separated and as you know that energy of lowest level is minimum in case of single atom energy of lowest level is minimum in this case 1s will have minimum energy as it is closer to the nucleus this is what single atom has but in the solid there are number of atoms come close to form a solid so in case of solid number of atoms come close to form a solid then what happens to the discrete energy levels individual atom has discrete energy levels so in case of the solid this discrete energy levels will form energy bands okay discrete energy level of atoms form energy bands in solid suppose there are n number of atoms and in every atom there are discrete energy levels so each energy level each energy level in atom 
transform into n energy levels in solid so each energy level each energy level of atom transform to n energy levels in solid so in atom if there is a one energy level then in a solid of n atoms there would be n energy levels which are separated by a energy delta e let me write that separated by small energy difference energy delta e it's very small energy difference so they will form a energy bands now so this would be 1s band this is 2s band this is 2p band and this one is 3s band in 1s band there would be n energy levels in this there would be n energy levels which are separated by a small energy difference delta e so they are very close these energy levels in this case in 1s there are n energy levels in 2s there are n energy levels in 2p there are 3n energy levels and in 3s there are n energy levels all these energy levels are so close that it looks like energy band so let us consider the example of here hydrogen atom consider example of hydrogen atom you know that in hydrogen atom there is only one electrons so like initially let us consider that these hydrogen atoms are separated by a distance infinity let's say one hydrogen atom is here and let's call it atom a <coughs> this is atom a of hydrogen similarly here there is another hydrogen atom b this is another hydrogen atom b so initially they are separated by a large distance then each atom will have one energy levels each atom will have one atomic orbitals in this case each hydrogen atom has one electron and that one electron in is in 1s energy level and so each hydrogen atom has one atomic orbital one electron and we can say it has one atomic orbital when they are separated now when these two hydrogen atoms come close to form a hydrogen molecule okay two hydrogen atoms
come close and form hydrogen molecule. Now when they are separated, when they are separated, atomic orbitals are described by wave function psi. Okay. Atomic orbitals described by wave function psi. PSI, that is psi. <clears throat> so when these two atoms are separated by a large distance, they have one at atomic orbitals each and that atomic orbital is described by wave function psi. So atom A has a wave function psi A and atom B Atomic orbitals of atom B is described by wave function psi B. So this is the case when atoms are separated by large distance. Let me show you this wave function. Each atom has one wave function as atomic orbitals are described by wave function. So these are the two wave function psi a, this one is psi a and this one is psi b for atomic orbitals of atom A and for atomic orbitals of atom B. Now what happens when they form a molecule? So these two are coming close and form a molecule, hydrogen molecule. this is hydrogen molecule here is atom A and this is atom B then what happens to the wave function we are describing the atomic or orbital by wave function so when they come close to form a hydrogen molecule atomic orbitals transform into molecular orbitals each atom in this case has one atomic orbital and when they form a hydrogen molecule atomic orbitals will transform molecular orbital. atomic orbitals will transform to molecular orbital. When the two atoms come close to form a hydrogen molecule, each one is having one atomic orbital. So when these two atomic orbital come close, their wave function will overlap and two molecular orbitals will be formed which will be common to both the atoms. So in this case what happens that their wave function overlaps. What happens is wave function overlaps and form two molecular orbitals. One is symmetric, 
and other one is asymmetric. Psi s is symmetric molecular orbital and that is equals to psi a plus psi b. And another molecular orbital is asymmetric psi a s asymmetric molecular orbital and that is equals to psi a minus psi b. Let me show how they overlap and form symmetric and asymmetric orbitals. This is psi s and this is a symmetric molecular orbital and another one is asymmetric. This is a symmetric molecular orbital. So this is how you know two atomic orbitals of the two atoms transform into two molecular orbitals and these two molecular orbitals are common to both the atoms. So according to molecular orbital theory according to molecular orbital theory. If atoms were brought together, let me write that. If atoms were brought together, they form bonding non bonding and anti bonding orbitals now in this case psi s is bonding orbital and this is psi s which is anti bonding orbital here what we assume two atoms, two hydrogen atoms come close to form a hydrogen molecule. Then it form one symmetric and another asymmetric molecular orbital. Symmetric orbital is bonding orbital. Asymmetric orbital is anti-bonding orbital. Then which one would be non-bonding? Let us just assume that the hypothetical case instead of two hydrogen atoms suppose three hydrogen atoms are coming close to form a solid suppose there are three hydrogen atoms they are coming close to form a hydrogen molecule then and each hydrogen atom is having one atomic orbital then in this case each orbital, this or molecule, these orbitals will be, there are three atomic orbitals of three atoms. These three atomic orbitals will transform into three molecular orbitals. And these three molecular orbitals would be one bonding, another one is anti-bonding and the third one is non-bonding. Let me explain this by showing the energy diagram. Suppose in this case, 
this is the energy axis now here we have assumed that initially there are two hydrogen atoms which are separated by say distance infinity and each hydrogen atom has one energy level which is 1s so this is the energy level of atom a here is the atom a and here is atom b this is atom b so this is the energy level of atom a e and this is the energy level of atom b whose energy level is shown here and that energy level has energy e so both the atoms will have the same energy e and e now we are bringing this atoms close to form a solid not a solid molecule they are coming close to form a hydrogen molecule here is atom a and this is atom b then what will happen to this energy levels these energy levels are coming close from infinity and when they come really close this one energy level will split into two energy levels because two atoms are coming together so every energy level here this energy level will split into two energy levels each energy level of the atom initially atom has only one energy this atom also has one energy so when they come close to form hydrogen molecule this energy level will split into two energy levels because two atoms are coming close to form a hydrogen molecule and in this case this energy this level has energy e dash which is corresponding to wave function psi s that is symmetric wave function and this orbital is then called bonding orbital this is a bonding orbital and e dash is the less energy this orbit this bonding orbital will have less energy compared to the original atom then this energy level energy of that would be e double dash which we which will be the higher energy and this corresponds to a symmetric molecular orbital and this is corresponding to or we can call this as a anti bonding orbital okay this is the case when two atoms come close to form a hydrogen molecule now instead of two hydrogens suppose three hydrogens atoms are coming close to form a hydrogen molecule it is a hypothetical case then each energy level in that case will split into three energy levels here i have shown that when two atoms come close to form a hydrogen molecule each energy level splits into two energy levels but now three atoms come close to form a hydrogen molecule then each energy level will split into three energy levels one is forming the bonding orbital another is forming the anti bonding orbital and the third will form a non bonding orbital and this will have the same energy and this is called non bonding orbital this corresponds to 
non bonding orbital so what we understood here when three atoms come close to form a molecule each energy level splits into three energy level similarly in a solid of n atoms n atoms are coming close to form a solid then each energy level will split into n energy levels and this is called at energy level splitting so let me write here first symmetric about the symmetric orbital symmetric molecular orbital psi s this psi s represent bonding state symmetric orbital represent bonding state and it has lower energy e dash then a symmetric orbital psi as this represent anti bonding orbital psi as represent anti bonding orbital and it has higher energy in this case e dash so what we studied here is combination of two atomic orbital results in two molecular orbitals from this we conclude that combination of two atomic orbitals results in two molecular orbital which extends to both the atoms both atoms and we also studied the splitting of the energy level splitting of the energy levels is if two atoms come close to form a molecule then each energy level splits into two energy levels similarly when three atoms form a molecule that is when three atoms come close to form a molecule then each energy level splits into three energy levels or when n atoms form a solid then each energy level
translates into n energy levels. And all this is called energy level splitting. Okay, this is nothing but transformation of single energy levels into two or more separate energy levels. Okay, this is nothing but transformation of single energy level into two or more energy levels called energy level splitting. So, okay. So, you understood that what is the energy level splitting. Each energy level splits accordingly. If two atoms come close, then each one splits into two. When three comes close, each energy level splits into three energy levels. If n number of atoms coming close, then each energy level splits into n energy levels. Now, this energy level splitting depends on. Let's see on what factors it depends on. energy level splitting depends on the first factor is increase in interatomic interaction okay this splitting increases with increase in interatomic interaction. If there are more interactions between the atoms, there would be more splitting of energy levels. If there is a less interaction, less splitting. And this interaction interatomic interaction is inversely proportional to interatomic spacing. Is inversely proportional to interatomic spacing. It means that more the distance between the atoms, there is a less interaction. When there is a less interaction, there is a less splitting of energy levels. If the distance, if the interatomic distance between the atom decreases, when the interatomic distance between the atom is less, there would be more interaction between the atoms. More the interaction, then there would be more splitting of energy levels. Second factor, we can say that splitting also depends on atomic orbitals. Splitting also depends on atomic orbitals. For example, 2p atomic orbital split more compared to 2s atomic orbital. 
in in molecule instead of atomic orbital we have to say molecular orbital but there are two p atomic orbitals initially when the atoms are separated and when they come close to form a solid they form a molecular orbitals and the splitting of that 2p will be more compared to 2s why it is more because compared to 2s 2p is the outer orbital and since it is outer orbital there would be more interaction okay the interaction of the atomic orbitals 2p atomic orbitals is more compared to 2s atomic orbitals similarly 2s atomic orbital split more compared to 1s atomic orbital in short outermost atomic orbital splits more why they splits more because there is more interaction when atoms come close initially the 2p will start interacting with each other then 2s will start interacting then 1s will start inter interacting so our principle is more the interaction more the splitting and hence 2p splits more compared to 2s 2s splits more compared to 1s one more important thing is energy level above the valence electrons they are basically empty energy levels that is empty energy levels also splits okay empty energy levels also splits so it is not necessary that that energy level should be occupied by the electrons even empty energy levels also splits so this is about the splitting of energy levels then each energy levels splits into let me write like this in a solid of n atoms each energy level splits into 2l plus 1 into n energy levels in this case l is azimuthal quantum number or you can say it is orbital quantum number or orbital quantum number and this l equals to 0 for s orbit and l equals to 1 for p orbit and so on so from this you know that this s orbit or s band in s band there would be n energy levels and in p band as you know that for p band l equals to 1 so this 2l plus 1 is 3 into n so that is 3n energy levels 
and the capacity of the S band is it can 